usually when it's my birthday i always end up crying let's spy on the little boy Hi, Bronx. I mean, seriously. You've got to be kidding me. Bronx. Excuse me, sir. I'm here to wake you up. Are you seriously not? Bronx! Dude, I think he thinks he's dreaming or something. Bronx, we're going on two and a... Oh, you hear mommy? Oh, oh, he's so heavy, he can't be... Hi! Hi! <laughs> Hi! Now you realize mommy's here? Oh my gosh. Mm. Hi, Mimi. Now you realize mommy's here? You're so hilarious. You're so cute. You're so funny. I'm sorry to break it to you, buddy, but you be the worst guard dog ever. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You're just in your little world, huh? Were you dreaming? You thought you were hearing someone's voice? Hi. You're so cute. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, okay. You want scratches? Look at him. He's laying down because he wants scratches. Morning scratches? Actually, it's more like 24 hour scratches. Did you Bronx? You're just so cute. You're so cute. Yes, you're so cute. So cute. Hash browns with cheese and peppers and a pulled pork burrito with a side of sauce. I'm hungry. We gotta add some hot sauce. I'm gonna sprinkle some. All right. Well, I still want to taste. Okay, I don't. I don't want to drench it in hot Say sauce. Hot sauce. Again. Hot sauce. <laughs> hot sauce. No, hot sauce. Hot sauce. So I should have done it before, but I just started cutting my nails. I'll have to file them down. away did my hair did my nails and edwin left i want to say over an hour ago he said he was going to go pick up cake because i'm supposed to be or we're supposed to be on a um video call with my parents and my sister uh in an hour and i feel like he left over an hour ago it's like he went to his own little bakery to bake his own cake like i don't understand why it's taking so long so i'm just gonna take bronx out on a on a walk right now because um 
I thought Edwin would be back in time, but I just finished curling my hair, so why not take Bronx on a walk? It's like 70 degrees outside, which is really nice, but I hope it's not too hot for him. I don't think there's, uh, there's a little bit of wind blowing, so maybe it won't be too bad, but he is ready to go, so we better make our way over. Just gonna grab a light um, jacket so that I can just stuff my um, my phone in there and the keys in there. I should get like a fanny pack. Actually not a fanny pack, I'm not a big fan of those, but you know, something to hold all my stuff together while I go on a walk with Bronx, but I don't know, we'll see. Look at the little boy, he's ready to go. Hi, he's so cute. You ready to go on your walk? Yeah, you've been so patient, okay. So what's going on? Hi Bronx, hey. Hey, who's pushing you? Who's pushing you? <laughs> okay, should I do it like this? Hi, hi, oh it's daddy. I just got back from my walk and look what I got. Flowers. Apparently from Bronx. It says happy birthday to you with the card. Ooh, yummy. It's hot in the car so it kind of melted. What about your treat? You love this treat. This one. Really? Here, eat your treat, okay? My friend, aw, to make your day better. Um, surprise me with some treats. I'm not sure exactly what this is. It's from Sugar and Spoon. Eat more dough. So I'm assuming it's like cookie dough. Ooh, what's this? Wow. I don't know what this... I'll have to look it on. Do you know what sugar and spoon is? It's, it must be cookie dough. Some kind of cookie dough thing. I don't know. Yum. Yeah. That looks good. I'm going to have to look them up. This is probably the regular chocolate chip. I'm thinking. This one, maybe Oreo? I don't know. Ooh, thanks, Joyce. That's such a nice surprise. I have to tell you guys, so I was literally walking out the door to get Bronx or to take Bronx out on a walk and I have him, I have his harness on but I don't have his leash attached because he can walk to the elevator with me, you know? Anyways, I'm outside the door about to lock it, then I see two girls walking down and I'm just like, hi, you know, and I hold on to Bronx because I don't want him to walk with the, um, the girls. I swear, if a stranger ever comes up to him, he will walk off with them. Like, he has no sense of, like, stranger danger alert. Anyway, so then, like, I'm holding on to him and then they're like, oh, actually, are you Joanne? I said, yeah. And they handed me that sugar and spoon box, right? Like, oh, thanks. And I'm kind of like caught off guard. Like I'm trying to hold on to Bronx. So I'm holding on to him until like the girls make it down the hall to the elevator. And then I'm like, Bronx, hold on. I literally open the door to drop off the box like on the kitchen counter. And I hear him because you can hear the metal on his harness like clanking. I hear him like running as, gosh, so fast. And then immediately I run out the door and I run down the hall after him and then the elevator door opens perfectly at that time and the two girls are like standing there, they're laughing. Then the elevator door opens, I can hear everything. Bronx had already got, he like jumped onto the elevator and there are like three people in there, they're all laughing. And I'm like, Bronx, not yet. So then I had to like, he was kind of sad. I had to take him off the elevator. Everyone's laughing, the elevator goes down. I'm running down the hall back to our condo door to lock it up. I run down, then he runs with me. I, this, I, this guy, I swear, he just like has a mind of his own. Lock the door, then we start walking down to the hall towards the elevator and then all was well after that, but it was just so funny. He gave me a run for my money for sure. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Joanne. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, one of the candles disintegrated like completely. Like it's gone. It's melted onto the oh, onto the cake.
a little different. Cheesecake, but in a cake form. Does that even make sense? Not traditional cheesecake. Yeah, not traditional cheesecake. That's what I meant. change out of this top because number one I didn't shave my armpits in a couple of days and number two I feel like I have a freaking wedgie do you want to eat your delicious food hmm hasn't touched his food he's got some um, I don't know slow cooked pork with some asparagus and a little bit of sausage and his favorite treat right here is there a reason why you don't want to eat yeah okay there he goes. Now will you eat your food? What about this one? Oh, you hungry. He's, hey, hey. Hey man. Excuse me. Bronx. He ate two pieces and just jetted off. Eat your food so we can go. Mm. Um, I just came back from outside cause my friend dropped off. Some beautiful flowers. These are so pretty. She told me that she's been into flowers and she basically picked these plants and she had them arrange it. And it's just, it's really pretty. I love them. Thank you, Caroline. And then also she got me some bubble tea. So I'm super excited to drink this down. They put a lot of bubbles, boba in here. All right, I do have a vase from previous flowers, so I'm gonna transfer the flowers into this. If I saw her, she's so cute. another package um this one is from my little sis i'm pretty sure because she told me that she was gonna send me something yum edwin opened up the door and it was like this older gentleman so sweet and he started singing happy birthday a little bit and i was like oh but i don't know i, I don't know how i feel about getting serenaded but he was so nice just got back from dinner from edwin's parents place and we had a whole bunch of sushi platter babe you're not gonna be too cold maybe you should bring a sweater just in case you sure we don't want you to freeze um so yeah so they had like two big sushi platters and we ate it was so good um and i haven't seen them in quite some time actually no it hasn't been that long i it, it's been since mother's day I guess which is the beginning of the month so it hasn't been that long but it's been some few weeks and um we just decided that we're gonna go to the beach it is 6 40 6 38 but um we didn't want to let this day to go to waste the weather's so nice outside and so there's a beach right in our neighborhood we're gonna drive down there hopefully it's not that busy because it is after or it's like dinner hours right now so hopefully 
not too busy and then yeah maybe spend like an hour or so there and we'll be back Hi! <laughs> what do you want? You want to come up here too? Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Stay right there, okay? Bronxy, look at mommy. Bronx! Oh, bye, beach. See you next time. Somebody had fun though. Good job, Bronx. You had fun. Oh, <laughs> he's tired. I think he's tired. He took a little poo poo. Someone's assed out. Man down. <laughs> Man down. Hello. Hello. Are you tired? Look at those eyes. I can tell why your eyes are tired, Bronx. <laughs> you gonna sleep good tonight? Look at those tired eyes. <laughs> Half closing. You're so funny. Why are you so funny? Do you want to say hi? Everybody, he is single and ready to mingle. If y'all are out there, he's in Jersey. Uh, yeah, he's single and ready to mingle for all you ladies out there. Okay, guys, I'm going to end my night here. I feel so loved. I had an awesome birthday. Usually when it's my birthday, I always end up crying, especially when I spend it here because I miss my family. And I guess now that I'm talking about my family, my eyes are tearing up a little bit, but it's been so such an amazing day filled with so much love despite not being able to really go anywhere. Um, so I have a lot to be thankful and grateful for. I'm going to end my night here and we will see you next time. Bye.